I heard you went to Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland this year. How was that experience? Yeah, that was uh, that was something something different. I posted a little bit on Facebook, but it was a lot different this year because of COVID than it uh, than it normally was. Uh, you know, I rolled up into the parking lot, and as I'm rolling up, I see that uh, it says reservations required. And in order to even park, like I I I, I'm, I live in North Bay, so I'm three hours away. I drove all the way down. I'm not. I don't have a reservation. I didn't know that when I until I got there and saw the sign, which is probably my fault, to be fair. So I roll up. I'm about to pay for parking. I see reservation required to get into the park. Now, part of me is thinking, OK, I could not pay for parking, but uh, I'd like like I came this far. I'm going to I'm going to talk to someone. I got to I got to fucking sort this out before I can, uh, you know, turn back home. And I'm probably going to end up getting turned back home. So I suck it up. I pay the. 20 or 25 bucks just to park. And then I go in and I talk to the guest services and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm getting turned away. Like you need a reservation. And this is, I'm guessing this is because of COVID, right? Like yeah. you get that COVID, they have a certain capacity. They're only allowed a certain amount of people inside the park. I get that. Um, so I go up and I talk to guest services and I say, uh, Hey man, I don't have a reservation today. Can I, uh, what do, like, can I buy a ticket for today? And they go, absolutely not. Without a reservation, you cannot get into this park today. We are at capacity and you absolutely have to book. You can book for tomorrow and I don't want to get a hotel. So that's kind of off the table. So I'm kind of like, all right, I roll my eyes and I go, okay. Is there any like super expensive extra, you know, gold pass, fast track, you know, behind the scenes extra pass that I could pay a little bit of a premium for and I can uh, I can get into this park today and right away she's like oh absolutely we can do that for you we got the gold pass you can pay uh, basically double the price you'll get uh, this that and the other thing and you will have a reservation for today which is an interesting point if you think about it right exactly so they're already at capacity when you walk up to say there's no chance get a hotel you're staying here overnight we can get you in tomorrow. Yeah. You talk to the person. The person goes, you know what? If you get a season's pass, yeah. we get you in right now. Yeah. Well, it was actually a gold pass. I don't want to recommend a season's pass for anyone because I don't know if that'll do the trick, but I know gold pass is what I got. It'll get you the trick. And it's an interesting point is because uh, of COVID, they're at capacity. But if you pay this extra little bit, suddenly they're not at capacity. You know what I mean? Like it's an interesting uh, you know, I, I see what you're doing there. It doesn't quite add up, but uh, I'm almost, kind of at your mercy here. Yeah, almost sounds like extortion. You know what I mean? Like if it you is. Gotta... It really it, it is an interesting business um, business practice, and I can't wait to see if if and when COVID disappears. If they're suddenly going to have to require reservations, no matter what your visit is, uh, because that could be something that they realized they made a lot of extra money on and uh, the park has a certain capacity and uh, you know, the way to get around it is a gold pass somehow. I don't know how that works. It'd be interesting to see if that sticks around. Um, so there's some other things that I'd like to mention to people that are going to the Halloween haunt this year uh, to expect that have changed because of COVID. The other thing is um, I was disappointed by the fact that uh, they didn't have the mazes, the, ha the haunted houses that I, I really enjoy going to for the Halloween haunt. Uh, they have these scare zones, which are like a lot smaller of an area. Everything's outdoors, a lot less hiding. And uh, they didn't have the mazes. So if you're going to Halloween haunt for the mazes, they're not going to be there this year. And for the love of God, trust me when I say book a, book a reservation in, in advance, because like I said, I, I drove three hours to get there. I didn't want to drive three hours back and uh, for nothing. And you got extorted basically at the door. Yeah, and, sure. Sure felt like that. And now would you go back? Like, would you go back again this year? Because you're usually a two year go, right? Like you usually like to go twice. Uh, Are you yeah. going to go back? Well, I, I usually go uh, at least once a year. And sometimes I'll go twice a year in the Halloween haunts. Sometimes I'll go in the summer. Uh, I got the gold pass, so... I guess that means I'm going. And I will say one thing that's cool about the gold pass is uh, they give you unlimited access to the haunt this year, which I mean, I'm three hours away. So it's a big trip for me to go down there, but unlimited access for the Halloween haunt this year, unlimited access for the Halloween haunt next year. So that's something they didn't have to do. 
They also give you unlimited access to the park during the summer. And they got this thing called Winterfest, which I don't know what you're going to do for a uh, roller coaster park in the winter. Uh, I don't want to be riding roller coasters with ice falling off of them or whatever. I don't know how that works. I'm sure they don't have roller coasters in the winter, but uh, somehow they keep the park open in the winter for this Winterfest. But I've got unlimited access to that. It's a good deal. And that's your loophole if, you're, uh, if you show up there and they say you need a reservation today. That's your loophole. Let's get the gold pass and you can get in. You got to throw a lot of extra money at the problem, but uh, that's it. 